A white rectangular computer prompt flashes on a dark screen. It pulses in time to the music. Words typed on the screen read, We don't build windows for all of us. We build windows for each of us. Windows Accessibility Program Managers. When you build features for people that have a range of abilities, you end up making something that works for everybody. For me, one of the amazing things even today after 15 years at Microsoft is how we're inventing new experiences. When we sat down and we were focusing on those with low vision and no vision, we decided really we need to work on performance. To start Narrator, I'm going to hold down the Windows key and press Enter. Window, start window, search box. So right now we're at about 80% of capacity of how Narrator could speak. Uh, and this is about how I would use my computer. That probably sounds like gibberish, but and once you get used to this, it's pretty quick. One of the things that we spend a lot of time looking at is how do you really help a developer be immersed in what it means to be blind? We built in the developer mode and narrator. Caps lock, shift, developer mode enabled. So now you can see that we've blanked the screen. So I'm going to press H to jump to the first header. Heading level one, go to Bing homepage. And it will kind of immerse you in what that is like to not see your app. Click down to change to suggestions view. Across many applications, when you're typing, whether it's weather, news, Cortana, you're getting search suggestions. Font do lack, one of one, selected. It's the first time that we're building that level of accessibility into both our screen reader and our applications. I'm going to flag this message. Contact delete button, move button, set flag button. Xbox looked closely at how they can diversify how people represent themselves. And so you'll see a new set of avatars so that someone can select an avatar that looks more closely to themselves. So with Windows 10, the Edge team really wanted to do our part and make accessibility great on the web. Enter, hub. So whether they need a screen reader, whether it's high contrast, whether it's keyboard only. At level three, draggable. It was really about making it more usable and more intuitive for all of our users. So in the future, I think the key is really matching the ability of the technology to the ability of the person so everybody can participate. Kids curve their fingers into heart shapes over their chests. The colorful Microsoft logo is centered on the screen.